Hey guys, got a game of domination for you on Quarry, and um, today I'm going to be using the Tar 21 FMJ with the Akimbo G18s as secondary, running Scavenger, Stun Power, and Ninja Pro Claymore stuns as usual. So um, I was playing a game of uh, Dom with uh, my mates on <laughs> Quarry, as you can see, and the way I like to play this map is to hold down B for as long as possible because B is uh, there's usually quite a fight for it depending on what kind of people you're playing against but um, this one went pretty smooth I've got to say so when I do catch the B flag I like to hang around it like work not, I, not too far away from it because that's where most of the action goes down and uh, B flag on most maps of domination are pivotal to keep because once you lose it you know what I mean you will uh, start to lose the game eventually if you don't catch it back so um, they've got A and they've got C, so we need to catch one of the two and um, I'm walking towards A and being cautious about it because they're still spawning here. So um, pick up the nice double and uh, move out because without a silencer you're going to get people flocking to you. So um, work my way around the outside of the map. Changing out tech. When you, like, uh, when you get a kill from a certain spot it's always nice to uh, switch it up and come back from a different aspect so people are expecting you to go where you originally were get caught off guard and it gives you that little bit of time to um, catch him off guard and kill him see the red dot on the map of this guy camping here so I pick him off then I decide uh, to get to a, a nice little hiding spot and call in my um, predator missile because it's always a good idea to um, call in your pred from a safe spot because the amount of times that you'll call it in and you get killed so you lose your kill streak when you could have possibly gotten harriers or attack heli whatever you're going for afterwards get my harriers put it on C because I know I'm around A and I think they're spawning there and uh, I get hit markers but no reward or so I'm mistaken two kills <laughs> get my pave low um, they're hitting the A flag so I'm playing defense it's the way I roll, I don't really like to run into their flag to get killed straight away I think it's a lot more um, comfortable for me to um, defend and kill people that have to come to me as opposed to me running into someone's spawn and uh, you know, them waiting for you and you not knowing I like to be on the other side of that aspect so we lost B because I stunned myself and couldn't get there in time so straight away, you know, you got to get back in there, you got to catch the flag the longer you don't have it, the you know, the more time that you're gonna lose. So um, I first stunned up because nine times out of ten, when some cats B, they climb up the ladder. Guy gets an assisted suicide because um, he threw the semtex on the ladder and was stunned, so he killed himself. Now I've got the G18, which are, if you have, if you don't know about the G18s, are the quickest damaging weapon aside from shotguns at close range. They're better than Rafikas, regardless of what people say. Um, they kill quicker and um, they're beast, I gotta say, the amount of quad sprays and five man sprays you see on YouTube, the montages with them is they're worth having on if you haven't had them before. So um put a claymore down after I killed that dude just so that I don't have to worry about him if he comes back again. And watching underneath this bridge is a really good way to pick up kills and stop him from getting on the B flag. I hear this guy drop down and uh he fails. He <laughs> didn't have Commando Pro on so he drops to his death. And I'd like you see I'm just circulating the B flag, um, getting the kills and then defending the flag for as long as possible. See this guy and uh, drop shot, but he hits me first, so I die. Um, I, I move up here, and um, I gotta say, usually when I die in games, it's either down to me going back for a revenge kill and uh, getting camped on, or it's just a case of, um, I don't know, pure, pure skill. I, I'm not going to lie and say, oh yeah, it's luck every time that I die, because I'm not that great. I'm not God, but um, I, am, I do think of myself as a good player. So, um, this warehouse in Free For All, great to camp out. Um, when they got the C flag, it's great, because you can um, spawn lock them from uh, safe distances. Put a claim at the doorway, just in case someone tries to sneak up on me, and I go and take um, a different route to come up behind them. It pays off because I see these two people come around this corner. Got to watch out for the marjom. Get the pred again. Call it in after I crouch that is. So if anyone comes, I'll get you know dodge them. Get the triple kill with the harrier. 
calling the Harrows, put it on where I saw the other two people at. There we go, I think it was that Harry that I didn't get any rewards. I got it mixed up with the first one. So um, I dropped down to B because um, I'm neglecting it a little bit. And uh, the enemy teams wised up to air support and they shot that Harry down straight away. Which I gotta say, it takes me off. And if you guys know, if you call in the chopper gunner, you know, you have to work your ass off an 11 kill streak and then it gets shot down within seconds, it's, it's a kick in the nuts. So uh, I call in the pave low and accidentally uh, press the Xbox button. <laughs> yeah, fail. So um, CS2 ran to B, tried to stun him, but he goes into the corner. Just about get the kill. Bad accuracy. So uh, once again I'm circulating the B flag, just waiting for people to come by if they do, but the air support seems to be doing a little bit of work this time. Now I gotta say, this, this game could have probably been a bit better, but I did die a few times needlessly. Just cock ups. It's always best um, when you have all three flags captured to um, don't stay in an open position because if you don't know already, certain maps, once you have all three flags, they will spawn randomly. Wherever the enemy isn't, or it's in wherever your teammates aren't, they will spawn on the opposite side. So if we're camping C, they'll spawn at A and uh, they will come up behind you as opposed to capturing the flag. So it's very dangerous. If you wonder why I shoot that claymore there, it's because um, I've learnt my lessons. In the past, I put a claymore down and um, sat next to it. So uh, an enemy's come around the corner. I've shot him, killed him, but he set off the claymore and I've been killed by it. So you, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to let it happen again. I um, just decided to shoot it while I stayed there, that was. Maybe Lucy, and uh, you know me, I, I'm not a, uh, a guy that runs into their spawn, so I just put a claymore and uh, fall back because they're capturing the A flag. Now, I don't usually use the Tar 21, I've only got Blue Tiger for it, but it's it's probably I, I wouldn't st uh, I'd, I'm torn I'd, I'd say it is definitely a contender for the best gun in the game I just think that it's, it's such an amazing you know like two to three bullet burst fire at long range you know drops people ridiculously fast I think the best attachment to the FM gel silence so I don't think extended mags is particularly necessary because of the you know the rate that it drops people at, but you know every person's their preference, right? So um, I got my butt saved there. I got caught out reloading, and the predator saves me. I decide to uh, move up because I see the red dot on the UAV. Hop in through the window, catch him off guard with the G18s. Now you don't necessarily need to use the G18s. I'm not saying you know copy my classes and you'll do great because that's not you know how it works necessarily. I'm just saying, um, you know, it's always good to have a uh, medium to long range and uh, medium to short range weapon. Like if you find a, a submachine gun, you can always pick that up. Shotguns work well for secondary, but in Black Ops they're going to be taken out, which I think is it's more for a balance reason, because I think guns like the uh, AA-12 and SPAS-12, they're essentially they're primary weapons, and I don't think uh, people should be allowed to you know, whip them out at any time they wish. So I am looking forward to that. So I get my third paper of the game, call it in. And um, before this game wraps up, I'm just going to say um, Black Ops coming out soon. I'm just going to put up a, a movie, not a movie as such, but a video just displaying all the challenges I've completed in this game. So um, if any of you guys actually want to see it, make sure to um, comment on the comment table. I'll catch you guys later.